Hello everyone, this is Praful. Uh, in today's video, we are going to discuss one of the important concepts which is nothing but the Michaelis Menten equation. So, we are just going to talk in a brief about what is exactly Michaelis Menten equation, what is the concept behind it, and uh, how exactly you know the uh, you know how the enzymes actually behave so whenever they are carrying out a particular reaction so let us understand this particular concept okay so let me start beginning with the equation let me first show you know show you the equation itself the equation is v0 is equal to v max into s upon km plus s okay so this is the equation which is uh, which was derived by michaelis and menten and we have to understand what this equation is so let me first denote each of these terms to you what is v0 v0 is the initial uh, you can say the initial speed of reaction the initial velocity initial velocity right then we have uh, v max which is uh, the maximum velocity of reaction the maximum velocity okay then we have uh, s which is nothing but substrate concentration and uh, we have km which is uh, basically considered as the Michaelis constant M stands for Michaelis so Michaelis constant let's say okay so let us one by one understand what is the meaning of this particular equation okay so for that we have to understand a particular graph so suppose I am plotting this particular graph so this is a graph and uh, on y axis i am representing the y axis with the uh, the speed of reaction the speed of reaction so this will be indicated by v sorry this is indicated by v and on the x axis we indicate the substrate concentration that is s okay so as you can see that basically if you talk about any particular reaction the initially as the substrate concentration increases the, the speed of the reaction will increase increase and later on it is going to decline and that's how basically the enzymes behave correct suppose this is a reaction wherein let's say a particular reaction a uh, is a substrate which is getting converted to b which is the product so and this is category you know this is catalyzed by the enzyme x so in this case what will happen is initially as you keep on increasing the substrate concentration right so as you keep on in increasing the substrate concentration with respect to the time so initially the speed of the reaction will keep on increasing but beyond a certain point what will happen once the substrate concentration reaches to its maximum level that means all the enzyme the entire enzyme is going to get the entire enzyme is going to get occupied by the substrate so this is the point where the speed of the reaction is maximum so what is this point indicated as this point is indicated as the v max so this is the point at which the speed of the reaction is maximum and uh, what is this this is an interesting point because this is you can see the point at which the speed of the reaction is half of its maximum value so as you can see that this is the point at which the reaction speed is half of it this is the speed at which it is maximum and this is the speed at which it is half of its maximum value so this will be v max upon 2 and this is a point this will be the substrate uh, concentration at which the speed is half of its maximum value so this substrate concentration is nothing but km getting my point so what is km exactly 
Km is representing the substrate concentration at half of maximum velocity. At half of maximum velocity. I hope you have understood this. So in this particular equation, which is nothing but V0 is equal to V max into S upon Km plus S. What is the meaning of V max? V max is basically the maximum speed of reaction. S is basically the substrate concentration. V0 is the initial velocity. As you can see, the as the velocity will, as the enzyme will start uh, carrying out its reaction, that is, it will start converting the substrate to the product. So initial velocity will be V0, right? And uh, just now we said what will be Km? Km will be the substrate concentration at which the uh, the speed of the reaction will be half of its maximum value. So I hope now you have understood this particular equation which is nothing but the michaelis menten equation. If, understood, if you have understood dear students, please like, share and subscribe to One Page Biology. Uh, see you all in the next video with some other biology related concept. Thank you so much.